Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we have an interesting uh, teardown uh, to share with you guys. Not our traditional, you know, uh, standard type of teardown when we look at super modern high-end things like iPhones and iPads. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a uh, shoe scanning machine from the uh, early 30s. Uh, so as you can see here, we have a couple of other models of the uh, Adrian Special. Uh, one from the 20s, one from the uh, uh, from the teens. Uh, this is one unit uh, we just received and um, what we decided to do is just to take it apart uh, to show you how to use it. Uh, what we've done here, we, we remove uh, the top uh, of, the, um, uh, of the unit. Uh, this is where uh, you would see through these uh, visors here uh, uh, the x-ray, the live x-ray of your feet. And if you want to come here, um, looking inside, uh, your shoes uh, would go uh, through the hole over there in front of the machine. So uh, you would put the customer, right, who put their feet in here inside the, uh, the machine. Uh, there's a fluorescent film right here. So this fluorescent film would basically fluoresce a shadow uh, of your feet casted by the x-ray uh, photons coming from the x-ray source right here under the system. Uh, so this is a this is a Westinghouse uh, source. It's a 90 kV, uh, 5 milliamp source for those of you guys who know uh, about uh, these things, a uh, very, very powerful source and, and, and the only shielding we have here is this piece of wood, right? So uh, the operators and the customers got exposed to a lot of radiation, as you know. Uh, eventually, by the uh, late 50s, uh, these systems, these machines were banned uh, for operation here in the U.S. Uh, the, um, it's just beautifully made. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, uh, really amazing piece of art. Uh, you can see this. Look at this. This is the uh, mechanism that uh, is attached to the visor that allows the shoe salesman to look at the live x-ray using uh, this visor so they can so this was placed here and let me put it back here quickly this was placed here and you can move this up and down to adjust to the height of, uh, of the salesman so beautifully made beautifully executed uh, what was really curious about this uh, unit is that it came with the uh, original paperwork that was delivered with the machine. So come here, let me show you. This is really amazing. So we have the um, tube itself, specs and ratings of the x-ray tube. And then you can see here 90 kV, 5 ma, go all the way to 100 ma if you know, done with a very short uh, pulse, but these machines were typically used by pushing a button, looking at the image for a while. So 10 seconds was more typical of, uh, of the operation. So again, a lot, a lot of power. I mean, we're talking about 450 watts here uh, on the X-ray source. In our machines, a typical 90 kV uh, source operates at uh, eight watts, which is a fraction of this 450 watts here. And our systems have a lot of lead shielding, so very impressive. And uh, we also have the installation manual. It's, it's, I mean, this is almost 100 years old, so it's amazing that it was, uh, that survived. So we have the directions for installing and operating the Adrian X-ray shoe feeder. This machine is to be used only for shoe feeding. Uh, so it has all instructions, even have, it has at the end, uh, some troubleshooting. So what happens if your machine, if you have any troubles with your system, fuse no longer blow, filament transform in trouble. Uh, and quite a bit of information here of how to use the system, how to install it, how to op operate the machine. Uh, specifically, <laughs> I was reading this earlier, I love this part here. See if we can can get on the on the screen. So 
care of the x-ray machine. Many people, knowing that the x-ray machine is a substantial article, abuse it and use it unreasonably. The worst offense is allowing customers to operate the machine, particularly small children. Again and again, we have gone into shoe departments to find salesmen smiling benignly at children meddling with the x-ray machine. Again and again, we have seen curious adults inspecting the machine and then trying it out by themselves. Have your salespeople trained to operate the machine properly and to allow no one else but salespeople to operate it. I mean, so this is a good indication of how casual this very powerful X-ray machines were at the time, right? Where they actually, they, they were, you know, kids operating and just anyone, random people out of the street could just get inside a shoe store and uh, operate these X-ray machines. So, you know, we, as you guys know, we have this small museum and we keep collecting these articles uh, as we find them. And it's just great, such an amazing uh, piece of uh, X-ray inspection history that uh, we wanted to share with you. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call us. Or if you like something else uh, taking a look at, uh, we'll be more than happy to share with you. And again, thanks for watching. Play what you want.